Charlotte Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee. And today I am back with um, another Shake It, Scrap It, Create It layout. And this week's prompts were bling or enamel dots, lime, as in the colored lime, and stencil. I'm also combining this with day 17 of 30 days of sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. And I will pop that sketch up on the screen. Today's sketch was created by Lisa Marie. So, um, this is going to be a really simple layout. Um, really, really fast overall. I do not have pictures today because happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way. Today is the day. Everybody's Irish. Um, and of course, I don't have pictures yet, but I will, so I will leave it open to put those on there. So I'm going to use some Bluebell Glitter Gems from Close to My Heart. And I am using this Gnomes for Spring paper pack from Close to My Heart. I absolutely love this. Um, the papers are so pretty. And um, last time I looked, it was still available, but it may not be now because stuff's going really quick. So this is um, the paper. And this is the paper. And I just cut it and used this is double sided. And I have my photo mats. I cut them at four and a half by four and a half, and then I'll just cut my photos down to maybe four and a quarter by four and a quarter or something like that. I have this from a swap. I don't know who created it. I'm using some more of my flowers I have laying on my desk. I'm using this <laughs> this piece that caused me such a headache for my title. And I have a few of these little uh things from um, 49 and Market collection that was still laying out on my table and these little pieces. So, um, I have to use a stencil and I didn't really have a stencil for what I wanted. So, these are my scraps from cutting out all of this, all of these clovers. So, I am just going to use this as a stencil before I trash it. And I'm going to use um, Distress Oxide Twisted Citron, which I rarely ever use. So, okay. Let's see. Let's move stuff around. I do want to keep my paper on here for a minute just so I can kind of see where I'm wanting to stencil at. Um, okay. Me get a pencil. I'm just gonna make some little marks. And those can always be erased. Alright, so like I said, I'm just gonna use this and stencil on some clovers. Technically, they're not clovers if they're not four petaled. Or have the white. They have to have the white line in them. Um, Alright, let's see here. I'm just going to lightly stencil over this. I absolutely love this paper. It's such a spring vibe. Have little shamrocks. Okay, we're gonna call them shamrocks. FYI. Let's do some over here. This is a really easy way to put to use those cutouts if you have a Cricut. Or even, or even your die cuts, um, you know, whenever you're cutting out all those pieces, say you have like a heart or something like that that you're die cutting, you can totally um, do the same thing. Just take your paper and voila, you have a stencil to, to stencil with. Stars, those would be easy to do. 
All right. Now I'm going to use this one. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't do a different color. Let's go with mode one. I finally got a new chair, y'all. Y'all don't hear the squeaking. But now it don't like, this one doesn't like to roll. And it's brand new, so I don't know. I might have to change out the wheels on here. Um, well, let me get a test piece. Just so I can see how dark it's going to be. Okay. I think it'll be okay. Alright. I'm just going to go in very lightly with this one since it is darker. I don't want it to get like crazy, crazy dark. And I do love these blending brushes. I got these on Timu on the cheap, cheap. And they work just as good as the name brand, more expensive ones. So I need to actually order another set. Um, so I'll have some for all the colors. I love this paper. It's so versatile. Like, I love the spring colors, but it's like it's, I mean, it's easy to make it St. Patrick's or whatever, you know. Actually, I probably need to do that one. Do it a little bit darker. Since the other ones are all a little bit darker. Ooh, that's probably too dark. Okay. I like that pretty good. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. I like it. I do want to put one, like, right in here, though. Y'all know me, I gotta be careful because I get carried away with these things. <laughs> more is more is more. Okay. We're gonna go with that and call that good on the stenciling. And of course we're using lime. This is lime. Um, or I think it is. And then I have some lime. I feel like it's limeish in the paper, so... We're going to call it good. All right. So, let me erase my pencil marks. All right. And let's glue this down. Whew, everything's falling. thing is stopped up once again. I'm not dealing with it. Let's get this glue. This one ain't been used in a minute, so. I've also found 
using that Nuvo glue that came in that gun, that it's a lot wetter glue than the Barely Art. So I've noticed if I use it, like how I just did this one, this one won't crinkle my paper because it's not that wet. But if I use the Nuvo glue, it crinkles at my paper because there's so much moisture in the glue. So I'm not a fan. Okay. Look how pretty these papers are and these colors. I love it. All right. Let's put this one down. And you'll see that I am pulling the sketch pretty closely. Um, I'm just going to put this one here. So pretty much this is literally just the base of the sketch and how they did it. And then, with this, since I had a rainbow on this, I wanted to bring it in for the other stuff. So, I'm actually going to tuck this. I shouldn't. I should have waited on gluing. But y'all know me. Glue and rip. Okay. I wanted to just tuck this behind here and hide the spring vibes. Because as much as I liked it, it didn't really go with it. So... I probably could have cut off the bottom of it, but it's okay. Okay. Hopefully y'all are still in frame here. Alright, so there's that. And then I'm going to add my, my photo mats. These are going to be my photo mats. And I'm just going to glue those down. And I will probably, well, maybe I'll remember, but <clears throat> more than likely I won't. So I'll probably just stick a post-it note and remind myself. This is where I practice if the flavors were going to work earlier. Um, I'll probably just put a sticky note on here and remind myself what size of photos I need to cut to add. And I will show y'all this one completed with pictures at the end of the month whenever I do my layout share. So, never fear. You'll get to see what it looks like complete. And then I just am going to add in some um, florals here. And I am going to put this on foam tape, even though it's already a little bit bulky. Y'all know that I like my dimension. Okay, and I'm just going to put this here. Like I said, I'm just following along with the sketch. This is where the title was. And then I'm just going to add in some more flowers. I'm telling you, y'all, I can use these flowers for everything. Okay, and then I have um, this stuff, these little flags. This was just a zip strip from the 49 and Market paper and from this um, Close to My Heart paper. And I just cut me some little flags to go up at the top. Um, pretty much like the sketch shows just to add it in and to add more of that green since this is going to be a St. Patrick's based layout okay in the end I think maybe I want to put that there I don't know yet though I can have that there and this here, maybe. Okay, I like that. I've been trying, I've been, oh, I keep forgetting that ain't working. We're using this one, just kidding. Um, I have been keeping my layouts really simple, relatively simple here lately. Um, 
I have just been having fun just using what is on my desk. Like, I have enjoyed it, having it out. Just grabbing stuff and making it work. Okay, let's stick this one in here. And then we just gotta add bling. And y'all know me, I like to add my bling in the center of my flowers. I honestly don't know if I have enough of these left. It's literally near the end of them. I love these though, with the glitter look in them. Um, let's put one of these over here and we'll do some smaller ones. Some bigger ones and some smaller ones. Okay. Let's see. I use up the small ones till I can't. Let's see here. Alright. So we'll have to finish them off with big ones. Ah, I got cat hairs. Of course. Almost worth if it's worth using one there. Can't see it real good. And then maybe one here. I think that's it. Okay. So, thank you guys for hanging out. Just kidding. Just kidding. I do thank y'all for hanging out, but I forgot. We need to draw for next week. So, let me grab the jars. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Look how cute. I love it. Oops, sorry. Bump the camera. Okay. Let's shake and draw for next week. So, first up is embellishment. I got two. All right. Uh, Brad's. We had Brad's before. All right. And then whoop, shapes, colors, and numbers. I'm hoping by the end of the year, once we get through these jars, we'll have done all of the things. But. If we're getting close and we haven't, I may go through them. Teal. Yay, Brad's. Teal. I may go through and take out all the ones we've already done and then just work with what's left. But we'll wait and decide that, you know, around October or November-ish. Maybe November because that would still give us two months to finish them out if we, depending on how many is left. This one was for techniques and tools, if I didn't say that. I'm trying to get a hold of one of them. Okay. Edge distressing. So we have Brad's teal and edge distressing for this week. So stay tuned at the end and see what everyone else created. I love that y'all are playing along. Um, and... I guess that's it. So, um, you can send um, your submission if you want to be featured to my email or to my Facebook. And until next time, bye y'all.